In this video, I will show you how to add trust badges in Shopify. So whether you want to have shipping badges or some kind of a payment method badge, in this video, I'll show you how you can add all of them and how you can customize them. So there's a specific app that I recommend for this. And to install it, just go to Shopify, click apps. Then here, click all recommended apps and go to the Shopify app store. From here, I would recommend the following app, trust badges beer. This is, I think, the most popular one, and it has 4.9 stars out of 5 with over 1600 reviews. So it is liked a lot by its customers, and they have a free plan available. Now, to get started, just go and click install. Now, you can see a little preview, so you can see the payment methods there, and you can just choose which ones you want. So just go and click install. And I'll show you how you can actually add this into your Shopify store. Now to confirm the installation, just click install again right there. And then after doing that, you will see this. Now first, you see Ultimate Trust Badges is disabled. You just want to click Enable right here. Sometimes it will take you to your Shopify store editor, but I have had this app installed earlier. So therefore, for me, it enabled automatically. For you, it may as well. But if you get taken to your store, all you need to do is click save in the top right. So now you can actually choose what you want to add. So scroll down and now here click select badges. Now you can see these are the standard ones and these are all payment methods. But if you scroll down a bit, you can see they also have different things such as, I don't know what it says, but for example, 100% guarantee, 24 seven customer support or one to two week shipping, free two day delivery, all of that stuff you can find right here. Or for example, if you're sending digital products, you could say instant download. Or if you have free shipping, you can select free shipping. So just pick the ones you want. They also have ships from USA. But just select the trust badges you want to add. Now I'll just keep the four standard ones, which are the payment methods right here. But instead of American Express, I will add Afterpay and then click Save. So you can see what it looks like right here. But you can actually change the colors of the badges to your own store colors. So if you scroll down a bit, first you can choose what the header text is. So if it is payment methods, then you can just keep it to secure checkout. Then here you can choose the alignment. Now the middle, in my opinion, does look best. And you can change the font size. And then here you can choose the settings for your badges. So you can select cards, which is what you see here. You can also go original, mono card, or mono. Now I kind of like the cards because then they are all the same size. So that's the one I'll do. Then you can choose the batch size for desktop. So medium, large, and you can again see a preview. I think medium looks good. And then you can choose it for mobile as well. So you can go from extra small all the way to large. And then here you can choose the batch color. So right now it's black, but for example, if I change it to blue and then set it to mono card right here, then you can see that it's all blue. So if you want to change the color, set it to mono, either the normal ones or the cards. And then here you can pick the colors and you can even see your own store colors right here so that you can just pick a color from your own store. For example, you can make them all blue, but again, I'll go with the card one right there. Now you can even do an animation such as slide in pop or any of these other ones and you can just click play and then you will see what it looks like. Now I think the swerve one looks pretty good, you can see it right here. But I'm going to do no animation because I want to keep it simple. Now for the bar placement, you can just place it on your product page. So to display the bar in a custom location place, the following code must be added inside the template file so you can copy it right there. But in this case, I will just click on save in the bottom right and then click test it in your store. Now for me, there is still a password protection on my store, but you can see on my product page right here, you can now see that I have the checkout right here. Now you can see the size for me is not perfect. So then what I will do is just go back to the app right here and you can do that by clicking apps and then here trust badges there. And I'm just going to change it from medium to small so that they actually fit all in one line. So then you want to click save and then it will be saved onto your store. So go products again, then I'll preview one of these pages. And now you can see they all fit right here and it looks very good and trustworthy in my opinion. So I've now added these trust badges right here. But again, you can also choose to have some kind of a shipping badge. And I'll also quickly show you what that looks like. So to change it, go back to the app and then click select badges. They can just unselect the ones you have right now. And I'll do a few of the shipping ones. 
So I've done three of them, which is USA shipping, free shipping and money back. Actually, I would like the USA one to be in the middle. So to change that, you want to select them in a different order. So I'm going to pick that one first, then that one, and then the third one. And now you can see it's in the middle. Now it's saved. So now I'll go back onto my store right here and preview a product page again. And now you can see they are a bit small, so now I will change them back because now instead of four, I have three of them, so then they become a bit too small. So now you can see we also have the shipping badges, free shipping, ships from USA and money back guarantee. So in my opinion, it does look very good. And now you know how you can add trust badges onto your Shopify store. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.